Hi everybody, my name is David Kalmuck. I'm an architect uh, for the workload management and monitoring areas of the DB2 for LUW product. I'm going to be talking you t to you today about how to tame your database with DB2 workload management. So I'm going to walk you through an example of how you can effectively sandbox uh, multiple workloads on your system using the new WM Dispatcher technology in DB2.10.1. So what we're going to try to do in this example is take two separate applications and map them into two distinct CPU sandboxes on your database server. So what we're going to be trying to do is dedicate a certain fixed percentage of your server CPU uh, to each application. And this is going to provide CPU resource isolation between the applications and it's something you might want to do if you're trying to consolidate multiple applications onto a single database system uh, or if you're deploying a multi-tenancy type uh, application. So in order to get this going, we're going to want to set up a couple of service classes. So I've got on this page uh, some DDL for you to, to do this. What we've done here is we're creating uh, two service classes, X and Y, and then I'm going to create two workloads which will map each of your applications uh, based on application name um, to the, their corresponding service classes. And final step, we grant usage on the workload so that they will be active and map your applications correctly. So once we're set up like this, we're ready to set up our, our CPU limits. And what we do to do this, we've got to make sure the new WM Dispatcher is turned on. So we set WM Dispatcher to yes in your DBM config, and we set your uh, Dispatcher CPU shares off because we're dealing with limits here. And then all you have to do pretty much um, is alter your service classes and set the uh, desired CPU limit. So in this case, we have set a limit of 60% on service class X and a limit of 40% on service class Y. So we're going to give uh, a greater proportion of the box to service class X and a slightly smaller proportion to service class Y. And that's pretty much it. Once you've done this, your applications will run uh, within the configured limits. Uh, if you want to monitor this setup, you can use our mon sample service class metrics function, which I've uh, shown you an example of here. Here we're calling it uh, to list all service classes, and we're going to do it over a 10 second interval. And if you look at the output here, what you get, uh, you see that we've got our two service classes and the corresponding limits. Uh, and the CPU utilization in our sampling period was about 60% for service class X, meaning that it's hit the limit. Uh, for service class Y, it's only at about 25%, so it hasn't used up its full allocation. Uh, and here, what you've basically done is you've got your two applications um, isolated uh, to use their own proportion of CPU on the box. So I hope, I hope you found that useful. Um, Hopefully we'll see you at the next tech conference for iDoug uh, this fall in Barcelona.